Well, it's the 3rd of March and I'm doing a flip-flop uh, update. And here it is now. Actually, uh, so my political sign idea is over for the moment. Um, over here, I have this little thing in the ground. And it's a thermometer and it's measuring up to 14 as you get closer and closer to the surface. So it's up to 4, 15 as it gets out. Now, I'm just going to show you. So the little flip flop has been filling up with water. We're just going to put it in here. And we're just going to drag it from one end to the other. So the temperature in a flip flop is 20. And if we drop it over here, it'll be lower because it's slightly in the shade, plus this is where the water's coming in. That's 16. We're dragging it over. It is. 15 because it's under the tin. But as we come over, what do you think is going to happen? So, 17. Come over some more. Uh, oh, not. The, it's kind of awkward to do. We are up to 20. Over near the end, 21.9, 22. Go right to the end if we can. Uh, down. 22.8. 22.9 and um, so it's collecting the solar heat transferring it to the water in that little uh, couple of minutes while it fills up and then the water goes down and uh, flows into the, the ground and it's into the plant's roots so this is something new and unexpected to me and I, I certainly did I expected it to collect some I had no idea it was collecting so much energy with this little a uh, piece of a uh, pipe but imagine if you set it up to collect lots of solar energy for the roots you could have a piece of corrugation and instead of flipping directly onto the plants it could uh, flip onto the piece of corrugation the water would go down to the little corrugations and drip down into the soil so you would be collecting from an area far far greater also, I'm just going to show you underneath how my little project with the roots is going. It's going a bit slower than I thought, but oops, that's just life. So here are the roots underneath uh, in this little Arab honic section, and uh, that's how much they've grown. They haven't come through the little holes. I, dr I drilled some holes. Oh, maybe they're starting to come through. Might be starting to come through where I drilled the holes in the, in the wood from the bottom. It was really hard because uh, I didn't want to lose my drill in the water underneath. And this is the places where there's no, um, there's nothing to stop. You know, it's getting air prone because there's, uh, the air over here is uh, low humidity and under here it's high humidity. So there's quite a difference. There's still some forcing its way through over here, but in the high humidity area it's quite a different story. And yeah, we'll keep an eye on that over the next couple of weeks and, and then we'll probably scrap the experiment. Thank you. Bye-bye.